The overall goal of this treatment method is to provide a detailed in vitro treatment protocol for neuroprotective applications of helium atmospheric pressure plasma jets on glucose deprivation induced injury in SHSY5Y cells. This method can help the key questions in the plasma application field such as plasma medicine. The main advantage of this technique is that the plasma treatment does relatively low compared to previous methods for cancer cell treatment, and which can prevent excessive plasma-induced injuries. The implications of this technique extend towards therapy of ischemic brain diseases because insufficient glucose supply is a common feature of these diseases. Though this method can provide insight into new medical applications of plasma, it can also be used in other systems such as cardiovascular system. Generally, individuals new to this method may struggle because the treatment parameters must be readjusted for different plasma devices. First, connect a high voltage power amplifier to a function signal generator that serves as a power supply to provide an AC signal. To record the waveforms of the applied voltage to a high voltage electrode, Connect one end of the high voltage probe to a digital oscilloscope and connect the other end to the power supply. Continually pass helium over the quartz tube of the atmospheric pressure plasma jet device and control the gas flow rate at a